I want to talk about the American dream because I went on an appointment. I was fortunate to meet my brother-in-law, who was just my medic, the guy who supposed to save my life. His little sister sent me a MySpace friend request. I said, hey, that's, she's cute and it's my medic sister. That's really going to go over well. It hit accept. Uh, got chit-chatting, and my medic automatically went from the guy that supposed to save my life to the guy that wanted to kill me the most. <clears throat> Weird. And then I got married. Um, we went to Mexico, came back, first time we were met, we got married. And I uh, got in our apartment. And I was living my American dream. And then at 23, and she was 21, we, uh, if I tear up, just cheers so I get through it. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> yes, yes. So I'm a man, and I don't cry. I do man things, like j jump bikes and eat jerky. It's, yeah. So we bought a house. Um, yeah, after my second appointment, in about uh, probably a year or so in the house, we, uh, we had a surprise on a Sunday morning over coffee that Kelsey had to quit drinking coffee now because caffeine's bad for babies. So we were like, oh, we got a baby on the way. So we spent a good seven months out of the nine months probably preparing Chloe's room just perfect. And um, she was too small to sleep in it. So she, uh, she, she slept in our bed. And then I went overseas. And that was my little piece of heaven, my uh, little seven and, uh, or three quarter acre lot. There it is. <laughs> so that was our piece of heaven. And I got, I got hurt April 10th. Um, in my earth, you know, it was an earth shattering moment. No arms and legs. What, uh, what am I going to do? And uh, my daughter never slept in her bedroom. So she... You know, I had two goals. One, have her sleep in her bed for the first time in North Carolina. And the second was to meet my guys at Ramside. I met both goals. I, I mean, it was great. But I realized it wasn't feasible for me to live in North Carolina. I had no family. Um, my friends, they all in the military, so they were coming and going. Um, the house wasn't adapted. I, I, I just had to sell it and uh, revamp everything. But luckily, um, I had some guys walk in my room, and they said, hey, check it out. This is what we do. We build houses for guys like you. And I'm like... This has got to be the drugs. There is no, no way someone's going to build me a house. Um, but it was true. It was uh, our Bravest program with Gary Sinise and Tunnel of the Towers. And then uh, they said, we're going to build your house when you're, when you're ready, wherever you want. And uh, I'll tell you what, I may not be a smart man, right? <laughs> but I know what love is. And, and what I did was I said, Kelsey, where do you want to move? And uh, well, she said, we should do this together. I said, no. <laughs> No. Um, you've been through the ringer enough. You've done enough for me uh, for a lifetime. And so I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. 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 So I, I am, uh, I'm proud to be moving to Maine and around my in-laws and, and Craig, who worked tirelessly out here, and Tammy allowing it. And, um, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm proud to to still be part of the family, because when I got blown up and she was next to me, I said, just take Chloe and whatever you have in the bank account and go. You know, you'll put up with this. But, oh, man. Man. This wind is ridiculous up here. Ah, oh, it makes my voice quiver. It's weird. Um, yesterday, I went and got my hair cut, my face shaved, thanks to Julie down at Dom's. She's phenomenal. And... I was getting out of there, and I called Kelsey up, and I said, hey, what are you doing? Uh, she said, well, I got to get my hair ready. We got to get interviews and things like that. I said, oh, well, I'm going to go grab something to eat. And she said, well, Chloe hasn't eaten yet. I said, let me take her. Let me get something to eat. And she said, yeah, no problem. So I drove over to, to Aunt Jude's house. I threw, you know, I didn't, Kelsey put her in the truck. And we went, and I said, where do you want to eat at? You know, I was going to get fast food. I know it's bad, but I can't get out of the truck and get her out of the truck. So we got Wendy's. And as we're in the Wendy's, I, I said, we're going to go to Wendy's. And she said, yeah, we're going to get lunch. And then we're going to go to our house in Maine. And I remember this, uh, we, were, we were in front of Shaw's at the stoplight, and I looked at her and I stopped. Yay! <laughs> and I, I turned around, I was at a stoplight, so I was stopped. I turned around and I said, no, Chloe, we're not going to our house in Maine. Because all of the time it was being built, we were living uh, all over the place, Michigan, Texas, down the road here. So it was always our house in Maine. I said, we're just going to our house. And we're going to our home. So, yeah. So, for everybody that was involved, because there's so many people to mention, everybody up on stage, people out there, thanks for bringing my wife and my daughter home. And my, and, you know, that's it. So, enjoy the day.
This won't happen again, I swear to God.